Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you are a subscriber, welcome back and thank you for being here. If you are new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. In the upcoming year, we will have an eighth grader, fourth grader, kindergartner, and preschooler. On this channel, I usually share secular homeschool content as well as a little bit about motherhood, having a larger family, traveling with a larger family, and everything in between. Today's video is part of a collaboration with Cassie over at Regular Secular Mama. It is a week-long collaboration, so make sure you come back and check throughout the week. But we are sharing our final curriculum picks for the upcoming 23-24 school year. I have shared my picks before, I'll link right here, um, but since that time, way back in April, I have made some changes, and so I wanted to update you guys on our like, final choices. And actually, back at that time, I don't think I made a kindergarten video because we were just gonna be using a lot of things from last year, but I am gonna go ahead and make a final official this is what we plan to use video for kindergarten, and that's what this video is. Diving right in. The first thing that we have already been using is Math with Confidence by Kate Snow. So we are using the kindergarten level. He is a few lessons in already and we are really, 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 really loving it. Um, I was waffled whether or not to, to go with this, but I'd heard such good things and I really did want to check it out. And Rainbow Resources had like a scratch and dent. Um, the only thing that was wrong with it is this tiny tiny little fold over on the end here <laughs> um and so i got it 50 percent off just because of that so that uh, make sure you're checking out rainbow resources bargain deals um because you can get something really good so um i'm really glad we went ahead and tried it out because we are really loving it so with both of his older sisters we used primer from matthew c so i did go ahead and pick up a new workbook for this um because they had used the other one um and so I did pick this up. We may or may not uh, use it. Matthew C. has worked well for us um, throughout the years. We do really like it. It My kids get a little bored with it and then they want to try something new. So I don't know. I don't know where we're going to go. We might. Math with Confidence, I think, now goes all the way up through fourth grade. Um, and they're putting a new level out each year. So and he's, you know, just in kindergarten. So he has, you know, maybe we just stick with that. Maybe we try Matthew C. again. Um, I have most of the levels for that. So so I might try both of them out and just see which one works better for him. Um, so that is for math. Moving on to reading. We, of course, will be using... I didn't get the book. Hold on. So, of course, we'll be using Pinwheels. You guys know I love it. I love it so, so much. It has worked so, so well for his, or, you know, his older sister. Um, and so we are definitely going to be using this with him. We've already started using it. We're a few lessons in and he really likes it. And so of course we'll be continuing that. So that will be like our main um, English language arts because it has everything. It has reading, it has phonics, it has um, grammar, writing, like literally everything. It encompasses everything. And to find an English language arts curriculum that has everything is super hard. So I really, 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 really enjoy the Pinwheels program. So we will 100% be using that. But I also picked up last year the um, Dash into Learning. So I have all three of the reading sets. The sets come with 10 books and a teacher guide. Um, so I have all three of those sets um, and then I also had picked up Dash into Poetry and um, Dash into Happy, Happy, which is the socio-emotional um, learning that they have. And so I bought the bundles that came with, um, hand, you know, workbooks. So um, I can, this one is like coloring and writing. Um, and this one is coloring and then little activities and such so, so we will be using that this year I we hadn't didn't actually touch it last year um, and so the I'm 
glad we have it because I do want to try it out. So I'll be sharing with you when we actually try that out. And then um, probably the last thing that we'll do on a regular, you know, semi-regular basis is the quill program from Brave Writer because we only made it through about four guides last year. So I have guides left over um, that we will just continue to use. We really love the quill program and it's super easy to use alongside the pinwheels program. Um, and so we just, it was a good combo from us for us. Or well, we only used the quill and the pinwheel together for the last quill because we had started pinwheels. He was finally ready um, to really start learning, um, like structured learning. And so we went ahead and um, used both of them and it worked really well. So we're just gonna continue that. Um, we, the one thing that we've added on is the uh, math component and then we will add on the um, dash into learning. So the next few, few things um, I'm going to talk about are things he's going to do very infrequently, very informally, along with his older sisters. So these are not necessarily things I would recommend for somebody who's just doing kindergarten with their kiddos, um, but it is things that he might join in on and with us when we're working on them. So we are going to be using um, Curiosity Chronicles for history. So when we are working on lessons that he wants to be involved in, I'm going to allow him to be involved in those or ask him if he wants to join us. This one I think he'll probably join in more often than not. We will be doing layers of uh, layers of learning art beginnings um, and I think he'll really enjoy this. So he'll probably be joining in on these lessons pretty frequently. Um, so we have that and lastly the science chunks. So this one it really depends on where your child is at, if they're going to understand the concepts, but I know he's just going to like, you know, being involved in the um, projects, and so I'm going to allow him to join in on the projects. Whatever learning he takes away from that is great. He's only in kindergarten, so I'm not looking for, like, you know, what our main focus is going to be making sure that he's working on, you know, his phonics and learning to read and learning to write and, do, you know, working on his math skills. So that's going to be our main focus. Anything beyond that is going to be extra and gravy. We are also doing two family study units, um, probably one before Christmas and one after Christmas, but we are going to be using Winnie the Pooh and Beatrix Potter's books to do like little family style learning. So we'll be reading the books together. We'll be doing activities together. We'll be, um, making projects together as a whole family of all of my eighth, fourth kindergarten and preschooler. So those are things that I will have more information. I have shared a little bit about them before. I think if I can find the video, I'll link it here or down below. Um, but as we start doing those and working on those, I will share with you guys how those go. So I think that's going to be it for me today. Today's video is short and sweet because kindergarten is just not a lot of fluff for us around here. I mean, it's very, Let's focus on getting you reading and writing and getting your math skills. Um, and that's it. That's kind of all I focus on because they're young. They don't need to be spending a whole ton of time. Like a lot of people do nature study. We live in Florida. It gets super hot. So it's kind of hard to do nature study. We do it. Of course, we go outside when the weather is tolerable and we're outside a lot and we have a great backyard. They're out there playing all the time. So of course we're doing that kind of stuff as well, but I don't use anything formal for that. Um, that's more just kind of like inquisitive minds, you know, very relaxed kind of schooling that we do, but it is a big component for a lot of people. So if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them down in the comments. If there's anything here that you want to see in more depth, um, I probably, I may have a video. I probably do definitely pinwheels. Um, on my channel so just do a simple search on my channel but if there's something that you want to see just let me know down in the comments I'll either share a video that I've already made or make one for you so while you're down there I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel ring that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget you can follow us over on Instagram at homeschoolology I hope you would come back and chat with me again real soon and I'll talk to you guys later bye